So we are coming to the last chapter of this uh, form 5 biology, which is called the variation of very short. Uh, basically, we are talking about variation, what caused variation in human, and we need to understand the important and the uh, respect about other people, how they appear in sense of the skin color or the hair color and so on. In this variation, we're going to see two types of variation. Okay, uh, variation, we have either continuous variation or discontinuous variation. As the name says, continuous, basically they have uh, characters are can't be distinct and most of the easy example are the body mass because the person can have, uh, they do not have certain value. One person can be like 50 kilo, another one have maybe 70 and so on. They have certain values and if we put into a graph, they have a normal distribution. And usually these characteristics are influenced by the environment. If a person is like to say being a high weight because they are eating uh, more food comparable to those or less. So in the sense, the environmental, the lifestyle are influencing continuous variation. Easy, just remember the body mass and they are always giving in a uh, distinct uh, numerical value. In the sense of discontinuous, uh, we can't actually give certain value towards it. It's basically uh, the physical uh, characteristics. And for example, here a fingerprint, uh, we can also give the eye color, uh, the hair color, it's either blue, white, uh, sorry, blue, brown, and so on. And in the sense of fingerprint, we have either composite, we have either a wool shape or arc shape and loop shape. And this is how we categorize according to the number of people. And most importantly, discontinuous are determined by the genetic factor because a person having this uh, certain fingerprint pattern because of the genetic factor. And we can't sh change the shape of it by environment. Example, we uh, remove out our fingerprint and change with another one. So these are by genetic, not by the environmental. And we say to have a discrete distribution because these are, uh, they do not have any, uh, we can't categorize saying that 2.5 uh, values. This is going to be obviously a round number in the sense. Uh, next, we're going to see uh, the source of variation, why there are some people different in different uh, situation. So variation is basically, as I mentioned before, either by genetic problem or changes or environmental. Genetic is basically all about mutation, changes either at the chromosome part or the genetic part. We'll see the example of all the changes in later part. Uh, in sense of uh, environmental, these are basically because of the sexual reproduction, combination of gene uh, when there's a fertilization taking place in sense of random fertilization, in sense of uh, the assortment of these genetic fa factor and crossing over that is happening during the meiosis. So let's look at the uh, genetic mutation. So we have the normal sequence. Okay, these are the uh, base sequence. So just in case if we delete C, this is going to be removed. This also and this also. And basically they have a mutant uh, DNA strand. So this is going to be basically producing other type of protein. We remember that DNA will produce protein. So this now going to produce uh, maybe different kind of uh, protein. Just in case we are inserting C into uh, this, th uh, this part. So they're going to produce a normal because they have extra C here. Just in case if we wanted to replace the C in a normal situation into another sequence, this is basically substitution. So now this DNA is going to code for a different protein. So either deletion, insertion into a, extra things are added, remove one normal into another one, which will give another different protein. So these are how a genetic at the uh, base uh, sequence level. Uh, in sense of chromosome part, uh, this is how a chromosome look like. If there's certain uh, event taking place, for example, duplication, in normal, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We can see that this part is being duplicated again. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, D, E, and only F, G. So D, E is being duplicated two times. So this chromosome is undergoing a duplication. Translocation, basically one part, uh, they shift upside round and then go to the, uh, gonna attach, uh, come back to a different formation. So you can see that this is normal A, B, C, A, B, C, okay. D, E, F, G here, but in here is no more the same. And we have L, M, N, okay, it's the same. O, P, Q, R, 
and we can see something happen at this lower part. So we can know some uh, there's some break. They join into different part. So F Q from this went to this side. Q R from this went to this side. So there's some uh, changing of place. That's why it's called translocation because they change place. Chromosome also can be deletion. Deletion is basically easy. We have the normal one. Certain a part of it is being deleted. Example, you have E here. And in the next uh, chromosome mutation, E is lost here because of deletion. Inversion is basically they're inverted and then they're going to fuse. Remember like here, we have the break at E and F area. They're going to rotate 180 and then join back. As we can see, EF, but the later sequence is FE. So these are some of the chromosome mutation. It can be duplication, translocation. In here, we saw of deletion and inversion. So please appreciate each of these chromosome mutation level. So uh, to recap about this last part, variation can be continuous in sense of we remember like a weight of a person. This continuous can be ha hair color or the uh, eye color. And causes can be either because of sexual uh, of these processes uh, or mutation is the common one. Either we have insertion or deletion and substitution at the gene level. Of the chromosome level, we can see uh, translocation, duplication, inversion, and deletion. And environmental factor play a certain role. Biogenetic and environmental can actually uh, interact with each other.